Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 1st through July 8th. This, usually my readings are love readings, we'll see whatever comes up. You may hear the air conditioner in the background, I'm not turning it off, okay? I wouldn't be able to do any of these readings if it wasn't on, so it's going to be on. This is for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first full week of July. the three of wands that came out sideways that means it's a challenge a challenge whether you focus on now or do you focus on the future what's it going to be I mean do you live in the now or do you plan for the future you know it's as though you know you're preparing for something but you're a little confused about what you're even preparing for or if this is the road that you want to take or what you want to do you know it feels as though you have an opportunity that you've been waiting for you know to make a move but you're confused as to whether you want to make that move or not we have the moon queen of pentacles the seven of cups confused yeah confused you know that hand you know what that hand says that hand says hold up hold up is this really what you want are you thinking clearly here are you? I had to shut it off. It was bothering me. Um, are you thinking clearly? Are you making the right decision? There's consequences for your decision. You know, I understand that you want to be practical and you want to be responsible and you want to keep things stable and under control. But... It may not be fulfilling to you. I see there's a lot of mystery here. There's secrets, perhaps. Um, confusion, for sure. Very, very confused about what should I do. I mean, this is supposed to be a love reading. But there's a lack of self-love here, so somebody probably isn't taking action. Um, therefore, there's no wish fulfillment because I'm being manipulated or I'm manipulating myself, deceiving myself living in this illusion or living in this confusion whatever it is now this card again the seven of cups i mean he is literally saying hold on what you own owns you it's the cups or the stuff in the cups i mean do you want the love or do you want the stuff that's the question here so you know whatever decision you have to make you have to decide if you, what you own owns you is it a, is it the stuff or is it love? Which is the what decision? What path are you gonna follow? Now there is something going on behind the scenes. Okay, there is with this moon card. There's something going on that hasn't been revealed. Whether you're keeping a secret or somebody else is keeping a secret, there is a secret that has not been revealed, and it may be causing some sort of detachment within you. Maybe you're feeling withdrawn and detached. You may be even feeling emotional at this time or you could be dealing with somebody that is emotional um and you know it's funny because i was going to do your reading yesterday and, and i thought i was thinking about doing your reading and, and i thought virgo's got an opportunity for new love that's what i thought yesterday before i even did your reading and here i am today obviously the next day but there is a new opportunity for love here, Virgo. There is. Whether this is a reconciliation or a new love, there's a new opportunity coming in. Um, and you have to choose. What are you going to do? Which way are you going to go? Do you want it or not? I mean, that's, that's the question here. It feels as though somebody has been blocking their emotions, their truth, for quite some time and living in some sort of illusion, because these are both illusions, pretending, you know, that something, trying to escape reality, you know, but the fact of the matter, the, re the reality is, is, is here, okay, it is, the two of swords is reversed, it's like, you've been uh, indecisive for quite some time, okay, and now the truth has been revealed, or the truth is about to be revealed, and it's making you probably making you feel very uncomfortable about this truth being revealed. And if it hasn't been revealed, it's going to be revealed in the future. 
I think that you've been really overly cautious about your true feelings, really trying to hide the truth big time. Um, there's been a lot of overwhelming fears and worry in regards to what way that you should go. But your advice is to take control of the situation. Your advice is to be strong, to be to make a decision instead of this wishy-washy back and forth. This is very decisive. Stand strong. Um, be decisive. Make a decision. Um, it's time for you to, to get your life back on track, and you have to be the boss to do that. You know what I mean? You have to take the lead. Um, I feel like it's a it's a little bit, there's a lack of faith, and I think that you may be staying in a situation because it's stable and secure, and society definitely plays a part because he, he uh, this emperor, um, is really... He wants his kingdom or his supporters or whoever, you know, the people that honor him to to look up to him. Okay, that's what he wants. And this is in your reading for a reason. You, you guys are in a situation in which the status quo is a very big deal. Okay, but it does, you having this status, whatever it is, is not, is not bringing wish fulfillment to your life, whatever this is. The, the overall outcome, okay, of this reading is the Ace of Cups. So there is an, there is an opportunity for love here. This is a gift from above. Um, and this could be a new love or it could be a reconciliation after somebody had been blocking the truth for quite some time, lying to themselves. Okay, and making the wrong decision. That's what it looks like to me. I feel as though somebody is finally deciding, you know, I have to be practical here. I do have to do the right thing. There's no emotional fulfillment in some situation. Therefore, I have to take the lead. And when you take the lead, there's an opportunity for new love. Other people, this, is, this, this right here is how other people see you. Other people see you as not being happy, not in love. They see it. Somebody sees that you're not getting what you want. You're not happy. You're, you're emotional. You're probably wearing your heart on your sleeve. Other people can see that. Okay? So your advice is to take the lead. It is to be strong and, and accept the truth. Speak your truth. Stop ignoring the truth. Accept it. Your challenge is the magician reverse. That's that self-deception. You need to stop deceiving yourself. You know what you need to do. Some of you feel like you don't have the resources to make a move or to choose wisely. You think you don't have the resources, but you do have the resources. That's your challenge. Your challenge is finding those resources, finding that power to bring success into your life. Okay? So the overall outcome is new love. The whole basis of this reading for this week is lack of wish fulfillment. Somebody has been in a situation where they have, they've been very confused but very unfulfilled. But now there is a new opportunity for love. It takes strength. Now this is advice, okay? And your challenge, okay? This is because this is advice and this is challenge, and it's right here. Strength, courage, willpower, facing your fears. This is what you need to do. You need to find that force within you that has been lost for quite some time, okay? Because we have the infinity symbol here and the infinity symbol here. Somebody has lost their power. They've forgotten how strong they are. You need to find that power, that strength. To take steps forward. You And you know, it doesn't have to be overnight, but you need to take steps. Either way, the universe is going to help you to take steps. They're going to bring you that strength that you need. If it hasn't happened already, that tower is still here. There's a rude awakening coming that is going to make you stronger in the end. It's a challenge. It is going to be a challenge. But if you could prove to the universe, because this is a universe card, the world card is too, 
if you could prove to the universe that you are taking steps and you are following your heart, then it might not be so bad. But if you don't, the universe will step in. They will step in. Because you haven't been focusing properly. You haven't, you've been focusing on everything but love. This is supposed to be a love reading. You haven't been focusing on love, have you? You've been focusing on possessions, materialistic things, money, job, everything but love. And that's when the universe steps in. And even self-love. When you don't focus on love, the universe, and now especially with this new age, when you don't focus on love, the universe is going to step in and say, hey, wake up. So I feel as though your advice is to be prepared for this rude awakening. Okay, you be prepared for this rude awakening because you are being called to find that strength and then you to make a move and somebody hasn't. Oh, gosh. Somebody wants more. Somebody wants more in a relationship. They want more. I, not not receiving attention, not not wanting to give attention. Over analyzing. Discontent, looking for more. Just not paying attention. Not interested. Throwing away a golden opportunity. Somebody is throwing away a golden opportunity for something secure and solid. A gift, another gift. When all they do have to do is, is, is find that strength, because this is a strength card as well, to master their emotions and, and head in the direction that's going to make them successful. You have to be the boss. You have to take the lead. You need to make, be, make a, a solid decision here. You need to make a decision. You need to tell the truth. You need to tell it like it is. You need to speak up and you need to be firm. You need to do what's right for you, Virgo. Somebody's involved in an unhappy relationship, an unhappy situation. But staying in it because of for the for the money for the finances and I mean I'm, it's just the way it is. Okay. There's no love, but there's there's assets. Clinging to the past or clinging, some might have something to do with children. Why they, they're undecisive and confused. But there's no victory and success in this situation. You are being called to, to have some self-respect. There's no, there's no love in this whatever situation. I don't know who this is for. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of emotion in a situation in your life. And... It's, it's causing you a lot of, of stress, a lot of burden, a lot of unhappiness, a lot. But there's an opportunity for new love here. There is. What is this Ace of Cups? Maybe that's self-love. I don't know. What is this Ace of Cups? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. releasing it's not about the money it's not about the possessions it's not about anything okay it's about love this is you have an opportunity to let go of what you've been hanging on to and it will lead to love if you let it go it will lead to love 
It's meant to happen. This change that is happening, this change of course that you are being offered is destiny. It's fate. You, are, you will receive something really good and rewarding if you take those steps. Either way, I think, I mean, this is a, this is destiny, this is fated, and this is, this is a fated event. So somebody, there is going to be some sort of event that is going to change your life, Virgo, whether it's this week or in July, or it has already happened. And it's bringing you <coughs> closer to your life's purpose. It's going to force you to move on. And sever ties that haven't been making you happy. There's been no rejoicing there. There's been no happiness there. The ties need to be severed. You need to move on. The universe sees that you need to move on. So they're going to step in and, and push you over the edge. And it leads to the ultimate partnership. That's why that Ace of Cups is here. There's an opportunity for some sort of union, partnership, soulmate connection. That's, a, that's, that's what's going to happen from this rude awakening. Whether this is, this is a new job partnership or it's a new love partnership, it's new. I know that it is. I know that it's new. Because this is moving on. And I can see that you guys need to move on from something. You're clinging to something that, that has no happiness, no love. So this is a new, it is, the ace of, it's a new connection. That's, that is what you are meant to be with. But because you have lacked the faith with the star card reversed, you've lacked hope in, the, in your future and you just are just so scared to take steps, stubborn and hard-headed and fear of change, resisting change, holding on for the wrong reasons, you know, whatever. Because you aren't doing it, they're going to force you to find your strength and it ain't going to be pretty at first. It's going to be up, people. When, that's, when, when, the, when frickin' lightning struck, strikes and the shit starts to fall apart, it ain't going to be pretty. But in the end, there's going to be a partnership that is beautiful. I need to get you a couple of romance cards, huh? Virgo. The wheel is spinning. Your life is about to change if it hasn't already. And you're going to get something. I'm starting to get the goosebumps. It's going to it's gonna bring you something much, much better. Good luck is on its way, whether you like it or not. It's what you want, but you, you're too scared to do. So whatever this is, it's going to happen if it hasn't happened already. There is a new opportunity here for some sort of connection that is going to be very emotionally fulfilling. It's exactly what you want. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. When this happens, you may need some friends. And maybe your friends have been shut out. Okay, maybe you were in a relationship and you, you lost your friends. Because I see like there's problems with friends here, perhaps. Maybe, you know, you need to connect back with your friends. Don't be afraid to do that. I don't know why I'm flipping. I'm always flipping. Um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And it's, it's easy. you see where I put it? You haven't been. You've been stalling. You haven't been taking those steps. You haven't been making the effort. Therefore, the tower, the rude awakening, the blast is going to kick somebody um, down a new path. So um, be prepared, Virgo. If this has not happened yet, it is going to happen because you have been so indecisive and confused and overanalyzing and unable to just master your emotions and, and go. But the change is coming. So that's what I have. Talk to you later.